So there's something I want to talk to you about, kind of a weird topic. Um, if you have children, cover their ears. Be sure you do that because they may not want to hear about this. They may go into shock. Uh, if you're a young male, I'm just taking out my earpiece here. You uh, may not want to. You may not want your young men, your young men in your family, to see this either. But I'm going to talk about something—a very sensitive topic that is uh, sensitive to men in particular. Anyway, I was watching a video. I think. Uh, a young lady by the name of Pharaoh Hazard that I started watching. She's it looks like she has a quite a few videos. And a nice topic is alien anal probe. So uh, Pharaoh Hazard asked the question: Why would aliens be using anal probes if they're so advanced? And why not just stick something up your nose and uh, look at your brain or whatever? You know, I I'm saying they should be doing scans. They should be doing, you know. Um, body scans like they do on Star Trek get some device uh, be able to read you so if they're actually sticking needles in you or something then uh, something's wrong with, with uh, how the technology has evolved if there are aliens or if you're an alien and um, you know <laughs> leave me a comment below I really like to know why aliens are probing people and sticking them with needles and I never heard of the anal probe stuff, to be quite honest. That's one of the reasons why I don't commit crimes. I don't want to go to prison and get anally probed. And I'm sure <laughs> a lot of guys have that fear. That's, that's one thing that I want to avoid. No anal probing going on here. I, I don't roll like that. But, but anyway, uh, sort of a serious question here. I mean, uh, if there are aliens abducting people you know, they t tend to have traumatic experiences. I, I saw this movie, A Fire in the Sky, and that kind of changed my whole view on uh, wanting to have the abductee experience. Not not for me, not for me. Before then, I thought, yeah, it'd be really nice to get abducted by some aliens. Uh, you get to do some kind of cultural exchange. They'll, they'll show you some secrets that uh, no one's gonna believe you even if you come back, but that would be okay. But when I saw a fire in the sky and they like locked his eye open and they stuck a needle in it and poured some kind of fluid all over his eye. No, 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 no. Stuck something down his throat, forced his mouth open. Stuck some kind of uh, metal tubing down his throat. I thought, no, don't want to get abducted. Don't want to see an alien. Don't want to talk to an alien. But uh, fortunately, <laughs> I have not been an abductee. I've not been anally probed. But uh, I've never even heard about anal probes. So, you know, why would an alien, why would any other species want to shove something up your butt? You know, they have a fetish or what? You know, I, I can imagine the wildest reasons they want to do some kind of sampling of, of your stool, what you eat or, or whatever. Uh, you know, it might give an indication of your chemical balance. It might, it might tell them uh, something about the human physiology, digestive system and things like that but uh, still I would think they'd be able to get that information other ways so I don't know for me I don't want to be violated like that it's not my thing but anyway leave a comment below if uh, you have an opinion or if you know I've heard of if you've heard of uh, alien anal probing uh, let me know because uh, this is a new one to me and uh, you know, I, I just never heard of any, anything crazy like that. So I've heard of them sticking stuff in your arm and you're, you know, doing amniocentesis where they stick a needle in a pregnant woman's belly. I've heard sticking stuff in your eye, down your throat, you know, in your chest. But never, never, you know, boy, I just hope they clean those instruments in between probes. You know, <laughs> if you do get abducted, Ask if they clean that probe first be, before they shove it up you because I, I mean, you know, that could be spreading all kind of germs there. So let's hope that these, these aliens, if, if they're doing that, let's, let, let's hope they're at least following medical procedure. Anyway, um, I want to give a, a, a shout out to Nicole and Jamika and uh, Jamika's grandmother, Betty, and, uh, you know, so to those ladies out there, I, I promise to shout out 
So this is my shout out. Okay, I will uh, I will talk to you later.